2015. But it's February. Of course, I'm already late at putting out the start of the year video. Well, I have a new game room. That's pretty obvious to see. A nice dedicated place to put all my games and my other nerd stuff like some Transformers comics, Star Wars books and such like that. I finally have something dedicated to place all my stuff. No longer sharing with the baby's room or having just a corner in the basement. I have my Nintendo powers, place for some of my retro systems, big bookshelf for the games, standee is put around, and a green screen in case I ever use that for the channel. I do have a lot of ideas to develop the channel here in 2015. I have a number of reviews I still would like to do. I know retro game reviews have kind of been done to death, but I enjoy doing them. I feel I can put my own little spin on them, so I'm gonna do them. But we'll see how much editing time I actually get to. I've been doing a lot of editing for other YouTube channels. I've been editing uh, the video game years for RetroWare. It's a I love the 80s style thing going through each year. And now I've started editing for Arcade Impossible. None of my stuff's actually out yet for that, but I'm excited to see what happens with it. So 2015 will hopefully be a developing year for this channel. I really want the gamer going great to have a small mark in the, the retro gaming community. And maybe by the end of the year, I'll have 100 subscribers, who knows? Take care.